Evolutionists will also tell you cells originally reproduced by asexual reproduction, that is, cell division. Then cells evolved so they were capable of sexual reproduction. Imagine that first cell was a male. Can you tell me, with what did it reproduce? It would have required a perfectly matching female with perfectly matching DNA. If the perfectly matching female did not evolve at exactly the right time and place, the male would have died without reproducing and the species would have become extinct before it even got started. Do you really believe a perfectly matching female coincidentally evolved at the exact right moment in time and the exact right place in the universe? There had to be a spontaneous creation by God because of codependency. The same dilemma of sexual reproduction must be extended to any new species. For a new species to evolve, it would require a perfectly matching male and female, or the new species would have immediately become extinct. If you believe in evolution, then you have more faith than I do. Evolutionists have another problem to answer. There had to be a spontaneous creation by God because of codependency. Cells, tissues, organs, systems and species had to be created spontaneously and intact or they could not have even functioned. For example, could you live with a stomach but no intestines? No. The entire digestive system had to appear instantly and intact or it would not function and be useless. Could you live with a heart but no veins and arteries? No, the entire circulatory system had to appear instantly and intact. And could you live with a complete circulatory system but no respiratory system? No, they are codependent. In fact, all the systems of your body are codependent upon each other. So you could not have evolved part by part since all the parts are necessary from the beginning. Man could not have evolved into existence. No, Jesus Christ created man as a finished product. Did you know that Charles Darwin said, quote, As by this theory, innumerable transitional forms must have existed. Why do we not find them embedded in countless numbers in the crust of the earth? The number of intermediate links between all living and extinct species must have been inconceivably great. Unquote. Here we have Charles Darwin himself stating that for his theory to be true, there would have to be billions of transitional life forms left as evidence in the archaeological record. And yet, we cannot find them. Think about that. If you had to guess how many ape skeletons uh, remain uh, worldwide, what would you say? thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands, millions. Now how about human skeletal remains? How many of them are buried all over the world? Millions? Billions? Now, how many transitional forms between ape and human? There are none. That's why they're called missing links. But if we consider that innumerable mutations and intermediate species would have been necessary for the evolutionary process from ape to man, why can't they be found? 
the only answer is there were no transitional species because evolution is a fraud. So by Charles Darwin's own words, his theory crumbles apart and proved to be just a, a fairy tale for adults. I have just shown you numerous fulfilled Bible prophecies and scientific evidence supporting the Bible. If you are still not convinced that the Bible is true, then I will provide you with even more proof. There is a mountain of evidence available. I suggest that you watch some additional videos on my YouTube channel, Sin City Preacher. The playlists I recommend are Biblical Apologetics, Science, God, and the Bible, Philosophy, God, and the Bible, Prophecies in the Bible. These playlists contain about 200 videos and there is more than enough proof to persuade anyone with a sound mind. The information is at your fingertips if you will seek with an open mind. Now I will continue based on the fact that the Bible is the true word of God. The Bible says every one of us must die once then we will face the judgment of God. No one can dispute this obvious fact. Someday every one of us will die. Death is waiting for you and me. Not one of us can escape it. In a way, we are all terminally ill. If a disease doesn't kill you, or an accident doesn't kill you, eventually your body will wear out and old age will kill you. It's like you're treading the waters of life for 70 or 80 years, but eventually you will tire and sink into death. But sometimes death comes suddenly. The Bible says life is like a vapor. It appears for a little while and then vanishes. What if death comes suddenly for you? Are you ready to be judged by God?